Hello? Hey, Garrett. Hey, Garrett, what's up? Well, the eggs are hatching. Oh, the babies are on the way. All right, yeah, um, I have some family here, if that's okay. All right, we'll see you in a bit then. Okay, see you in a few. Okay, bye. bye. Hi, this is Garrett Hartle. Welcome to my world. I, because of my experience, I have come to believe that everything is here has a value and a reason and a purpose and I want to find out what it is. I've made it a little bit of a goal of mine to surround myself with incredible people. Hi, I'm Amy Brooks and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. If I googled myself I think I would find a girl with no arms or legs, maybe tetrafocomelia, um, no arms, no legs, no problem. Amy Brooks is one of those kinds of people. I ended up at my parents through the foster system and they decided to adopt me. Um, because I was blessed to grow up in a normal home with a normal family, um, I grew up as a normal kid. I, I don't see myself as being an inspiration to others, um, just living my life as a normal person that was given a few challenges. This gal is awesome. She's game for anything and that's, uh, that's one of the things I really appreciate about Amy. The range of motion that I have with my little arms is the same as anybody else's in certain ways, except for when I go up like this. So my right arm definitely does not go up as high as my left arm. Okay. And you use those a lot. For... I use them a lot, and I'm and I'm pretty strong too. Oh yeah. Yeah. You want to arm wrestle? <laughs> if you want to lose. <laughs> <laughs> I met Amy just by chance. I met Garrett at church. Um, I was giving my testimony at Allison Park Church and uh, he came up to me in the foyer where I was selling my books, started talking to me about this charity that he um, has helped with called Daniel's Roses. Um, the charity was My Snake Saves Lives. Um, uh, snakes kind of freaked me out a little bit, but <laughs> I thought it was cool that he wanted to help somebody like her. Uh, it really showed his heart. After getting to hang out with her a little bit, I couldn't get this idea out of my head of doing another snake-based charity using her. The only issue was she wasn't too keen on snakes. So today I held my first snake ever and it was terrifying. I think I did squeal a few times. <laughs> she was kind of nervous, you know, especially because, you know, with it around her neck and, and near her face and things, she couldn't control where it was going. It felt different than I thought it would. I thought it would be slimy and icky, but it really wasn't. Um, and it was a lot heavier than I thought it would be, even though it was a baby snake. It was pretty cool. Um, but it wasn't, it was cold, though, and I, I don't know why I wasn't expecting it to be cold, because they aren't warm blooded. <laughs> I'm really excited about opening the eggs, um, just helping something being born. That's really cool to me. I always uh, open these up after the first snake begins to pip or cut out of the egg on its own um, in order to help save any of the uh, babies that might be wrapped up there, umbilical cord or anything. So they're totally ready to go. Uh, the eggs are, are done. They've done their job. It's time for the snakes to come out. So when we cut the eggs open, I'm going to hold an X-Acto knife in my mouth and hopefully just cut a little circle open in the eggs so that the little girls and guys can come out. First couple of eggs, I'm watching as she's opening. She's kind of nervous, you know, she's not wanting to cut the snake. I would actually put my finger between the shell and the snake inside. I mean, I don't love snakes, but I think it's cool that Garrett uses what he does to make a difference in other people's lives. Um, so um, I might not like it, but that, that's his life. And when I see somebody like Amy opening the egg and then just it, it, that little snake that was so gross to her the day before, as she's watching it and I'm talking and holding it kind of in front of her, it just becomes so irresistible. She's got to give it a little pet, you know what I mean? That's just, I mean, that's awesome to see somebody else be able to experience something like that. Being a part of something that's going to make someone else's life better or happier through the charity event, like that's really what I'm why I'm excited to be a part of it. I'm really looking forward to continuing it on and joining now with you guys. Uh, to take this to the next level and really make a difference. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for, uh, for 
participating and sharing this space with me today.